Breaking news, the new Claude 4 update just dropped as a free upgrade and it's about to transform how you build pretty much everything. So for example, you can actually use this for super agents. I'll come on to this later. And Anthropic quietly added one of the biggest AI updates in the world. This is going to be one of the best coding updates out there. And there's literally a way to use it for free inside the browser. So today we're going to be talking through the exact step-by-step -step process to code anything with Claude 4. I'll show you how you can build with it, what you can build and test it to its limits, plus how to use it as an AI super agent that could browse your internet, complete tasks for you. You just tell it what to do and we'll get straight into it. So what we can see here is Claude for um essentially if we go over to the announcement here this literally just came out a few hours ago so they've said today we're introducing the next generation of claude models claude opus and claude a sonnet for setting new standards for coding advanced reasoning and ai agents ai agents being the key here so there's actually some insane updates when it comes to browser use when it comes to using your laptop etc this is a complete new advancement when it comes to ai super agents so we'll come on to that and they've said Claude Opus 4 is the world's best coding model with sustained performance on complex long running tasks and agent workflows. Claude 4 Sonnet is a significant upgrade to Claude Sonnet 3.7, delivering superior coding and reasoning whilst responding more precisely to your instructions. Now, one of the first things that I saw when I was coding with it, this is just an example. So we said make a captivating endless run game, key instructions on the screen, etc. And the UI and the speed of this game is so much smoother and better than anything that I've ever built with, for example, Gemini 2.5 Pro or Claude 3.7 Sonic, which was the previous version. And this was using Claude Opus 4, as you can see. It's going to be really powerful thing. Also, you've also got, for example, new tools here. So you've got extended thinking with tool use. So it can use tools, for example, like web search. Additionally, we have some other options. So for example, We've got new model capabilities. Both models can be used in parallel. We've got Claude code, which is now generally available. So they've said after receiving extensive positive feedback during our research preview, we are expanding how developers can collaborate with Claude. Claude code now uses and supports background tasks like GitHub Actions, blah, 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 and also new API capabilities. So you can actually use this for like code execution. And also you can use this to build more powerful AI agents, the code execution tool, MCP connector, files API, etc. And if we open up Claude desktop here, let's just check this. So if we open up Claude desktop over here, as you can see, and then I'm just going to check the MCP settings. So if we go inside settings over here, and then we're going to go to developer. We have our MCPs enabled, like you can see, which is going to allow us to control our laptop and also our browser as you can see so if for example we say okay use a browser and navigate to apple.com you can see we've selected claude sonnet 3 saw planet 4 over here let's hit enter just see what it does make sure it works etc it's saying i'll navigate to apple.com for you using the browser and we just need to enable that in the background so let's make sure we have the extension enabled We'll connect the browser MCP. I'll show you. If you want to learn how to set this stuff up, by the way, check out the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. Completely free community where you can build this sort of stuff. And it shows you exactly how to do it step by step, completely for free. Just check out the Claude 4 resources right here. We've got tons and tons of different resources, including how to build AI super agents using Claude 4. So if we go back inside Claude now, we'll say user browser, navigate to apple.com. Let's just test it out. And it navigated really fast in the background to apple.com. How crazy is that? So we can actually now get Claude 4 as an updated version to control our browser, go off to AI super agent stuff. And it's, it's pretty amazing. You can see here is a screenshot of the whole screen, navigated to the browser, connected, and that was completely free, right? If you want to set that stuff up, you can do it inside the MCP section, inside the AI success lab. We'll show you exactly how to set that up step by step. But let's get straight into the other updates from Claude 4 and what else it can do and how it works, etc. right? So it said Claude Opus 4 is our most powerful model yet. By the way, if you want to switch between Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet, just go to Claude.ai and then inside the drop down here, you can select between Opus 4 and Sonnet 4. There are limits on these and depending on which model you're on. So for example, if you're on the free model, 
then it's going to be different models based on that. But yeah, you can see basically how it works step by step. So if we say, for example, okay, I'm just going to reconnect the browser MCP. All right. So we'll, we'll connect from this tab. All right. And then we'll go to Claude over here and we'll say, okay, search on how to use MCP in school, something like that. Let's see if it can do it. And I'm just going to say in my browser, it's using browser navigate. And then it's just going to start searching right here. Right. It seems to be way faster for using browser use from what I can see as well. And you see it's now loading the page, searching for information, waiting for the search results, etc. Pretty cool. All right. And that's running in the background whilst we do something else. So you can see here, it's now searching Google. It's much faster and smoother than it's ever been. And now it's searching around Google and it's just controlling my browser in the background whilst I'm talking to you, right? Crazy stuff. So it's gone to this AI DevOps community, found out how to use school, etc., And it's browsing really quickly. Like I've never seen browser use move that fast. That's pretty insane. So let's get back now to the announcements. I'm just going to remove the browser use so it doesn't keep using it in the background. We can see some examples here. So let's have a look at the benchmarks. Claude 4, Claude Opus 4, most powerful model yet, and the best coding model in the world. That's a bold statement, but you can see how it's performing and why they've justified that. What else we got here? So Cursor calls it state of the art for coding and leap forward in complex code base. Replit reports improved precision, significantly improves on Sonic 3.7's industry leading capabilities which was already right up there at the top of the leaderboard. And then we can see the software engineering benchmarks here. So the SWE bench verified benchmarks. So if we have a look at these, Gemini 2.5 Pro, which was previously my favorite for coding, right? If we look at these and compare them, that was at 63.2% for software engineering. Now we can see Opus 4 is scoring 72.5 and Sonic 4 is scoring 72.7 compare the benchmarks over here you can see them and how they perform wow look at this as well so this is claude playing pokemon so this is one of the most exciting updates for claude and basically it's their ability to really take over your screen and start using stuff like you can see it playing pokemon just like a human would over here this was the instructions and it's try max five attempts with same approach if stuck try opposite approach etc and this is the AI playing Pokemon directly. Also got GitHub Actions right there. And here's one of the biggest updates. This is the crazy stuff. So Claude 4, especially Claude Opus 4, can now work continuously for several hours, right? As an AI agent, which means this is wild. But basically you could have this AI super agent, for example, like the desktop one that I'm using over here. You could have that running for hours, running on and working on different tasks. Now, if you compare a human versus an AI competing head to head, a human needs to take lunch breaks, they get tired, they get emotional, they get bored, etc. And you compare that versus an AI agent that's using your browser and trying to achieve the same task, which one's going to win? It's going to be an agent for sure. And so I can see that this is already going to become like even more pronounced in the AI world in terms of building stuff, creating stuff, completing basic admin tasks. I can't see how humans are going to become more useful. It's, it's a scary update. So let's go through, I'll show you some examples of what we built. So for example, we said made a captivating endless runner game. Here we have it, as you can see, working its magic. We also have a retro shooter game. So we created this. By the way, this was all one shot. If you look at the chat, we literally just gave it one shot and it went off, did its magic and created this awesome game. Like, it's pretty nice. It's, it's better than something people would spend a whole month coding in the 90s, basically. And the UI as well, I've noticed with Opus especially, it's just like much nicer than it's ever been, right? Let's have another example right here. So this was a 3D car simulator. And you can see that was one-shotted as well. 
And then we have a simple chess game that it literally just one shotted to. Let's check that works. So we'll pull this up for you. Yeah, it's working perfectly, isn't it? I wonder if we can get the AI to play chess as well on the screen, right? So for example, if we go over to browser and CP, we'll connect that. And then I'm going to publish this, right? So I'm going to publish this game. So this is the subdomain that we've deployed this chess game that Claude created, right? And then what we're going to do is go over to Claude using Claude Sonnet 4. And we'll say, okay, go and play chess here with yourself, mate, right? And we're going to get the AI to play itself at chess and see if this works, all right? Using browser. So I might switch to Opus as well, because that seems to be like the agentic model. So now it's going to use that MCP. By the way, if you want to set this stuff up, like I said, check the AI success lab and you can get free access to the full instructions on how to do this. And then it's navigated to this page, as you can see. It's like, let's take a screenshot to see the chessboard better. It's like, great, I can see the chessboard in its starting position. Here's how we're going to use it, mate. And then if we pull this on the side, I'm going to start with a classic opening and go with this, right? So you can get your AI agents to, to browse to different websites, click on different pieces, do whatever you need to. If we said, okay, let's go inside here. I'll say, okay, go to bolt.new and build out an SEO. Let's try that one. I'll navigate to bolt.new and create a new SEO tool for you. Let's see what it does. It's fast. It is fast. Bear in mind as well, like you can just go off and do other stuff and this is just running in the background. You can see it using the cursor over here. So this is the AI using the cursor. Now it's going to type in the text input. And now it's on the page and it's starting to build stuff out, right? It's still not as good as I would like, to be honest with you. So it struggled with bolt.new and typing in there. And that was using Opus 4. So it's still got some limitations, to be honest with you. I thought it would do better than that. You can see how it struggled with the task. So it dragged the mouse inside there. And then it actually gave up and just built a SEO tool directly in here. So don't want to mislead you and tell you, like, it's the best thing since sliced bread for the browser use. When it obviously struggled right here. But pretty impressive stuff all the same. Now, you can also code with this as well. Which I'll come on to in a second. For example, you can go to openrouter.ai. Obviously, this is not free, but you can use the tools directly here. And also, you've got Claude Computer as well. So you've got Claude Code where you can build stuff too. Now, what we can also do with Claude directly in the chat here, if we're using Opus 4, is we can go inside here and say, okay, check. And I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to take an example prompt. By the way, if you're on the full tutorial on how to set this up, check out this video inside the AI success lab link in the comments description. But if we, for example, wanted to interact, not just with our browser, but with our laptop as well, then I'm just so I don't rinse the credits, I'm going to switch to 3.7, but you can do this in four as well. So if we say, for example, tell me how much free space I have on my main drive. And then you can see here, it uses this MCP that just enables it to interact directly with your laptop, right? So you can see here, I'll help you check the free space in your main drive. And this has direct local access to my laptop. Like you can see, gets the file system response. And it's based on the information I received. You got total size of 926. And the capacity of use is 14%, right? So you have 91 gigabytes of free space available in your main drive, right? So you can actually get this AI super agent as well to not just interact with your browser and do other stuff like that, but also to interact directly with your laptop. And for example, if I'm like, what? is my battery percentage as well. It'll run there. And then your battery's 81% and charging shows that you have approximately one hour and 15 minutes remaining to reach a full charge. Even tells me like your device is connected to AC power. So if you want to set this up, if you want to figure out how to build it, etc. Full resources, complete free tutorial with example prompts and a video tutorial and all the resources and the code to install it directly inside the AI success lab, along with all my notes on Claude 4. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. And yeah, that's basically it. So feel free to get the AI success lab.
Link in the comments and description comes with a community of 6,900 members, plus all of my best trainings on AI recently. This gets updated every single day. And if you need help, if you need support, if you need coaching, implementing this stuff, then feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. Basically, the AI Profit Boardroom is focused on helping you make more money and save time with AI, right? So if you need like personalized help implementing this stuff, growing your business, building stuff, then feel free to get this because these new tools and new updates are coming out every single day, right? And so it's very hard to keep up. Like it's easy to know what you're doing, but it's very hard to keep up, right? So if you want to know exactly how to personalize and implement all this stuff so you can make more money and save time directly for your business, then feel free to get the AI profit board in. Because we've got, for example, direct message support. You can also, for example, post inside the community and ask any questions you have. And additionally, it comes with all my best trainings and courses that you won't find anywhere else, including our crash course that shows you exactly how we implemented this stuff inside our business. And additionally, you get weekly coaching calls. So you can jump on the coaching calls, ask any questions that you have. We're going to start doing three calls a week soon as well. So feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments and the description.